Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Saturday. It's Daryl here. It is bright and freaking early, man. It's 3 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, this morning I kind of had an epiphany. I was going through the news feed this morning and I couldn't find, there was just nothing that grabbed my attention. It was kind of a rehash of yesterday. It's been like that for a few days. There's kind of like slow, I've noticed since I've been doing these videos, especially lately, there's slow news cycles. And I wasn't sure if I was even going to make a video this morning. And then I had an epiphany. I, I, I really did. And I'll get to that in a second. I was thinking like just like a regular thick-headed guy. And I kind of had an epiphany this morning. It's about Britney Spears. Um, all right. So she posted this. She posted this picture. I don't know. I think Thursday or Friday. And let me paint a picture for you. I'm going to I'm gonna use it on my thumbnail. So you guys will see it as soon as you click on this video. It's a picture of her. I think it's an, it's an older picture. That's I think that's what it, I've seen story. I've seen articles about this 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 picture, and I think it's on TMZ. And I think it's an older picture, and she's looking tough. You know, she's got her hair over one eye, and she's kind of got that kind of. <laughs> she's always got that kind of crazy look on her face, but uh, she's got like a little black, all black on. Yeah, I could identify with that leather she's got her hands in her pockets you know and she looks she looks a little you know like you, you're not sure what she's gonna do she looks a little i wouldn't say scary but you know you, you might you might be a little cautious you know talking to her and the text the caption she wrote underneath it was f f with me i dare you and the middle finger Right. So, OK, so when I first saw this, I, I, I got to admit, I got to admit, I was thinking like a, a, a regular thick headed guy. And the first uh, the first things I was, I was like, should I talk about this? And I was like, you know, what, what's she getting at? You know, is this about her ex? You know, about about, you know, because there's articles in TMZ about her paying ten thousand dollars a month. I think it's ten thousand or a hundred thousand. I, I don't know. Those numbers all seem to blend together once it gets out of my price range. Uh, for Sam Ashgary's, uh, Ashgary's, I can't say the last names, uh, his, his monthly apartment, you know, and, you know, is it about him? I started thinking, but then I started thinking, is it about people like me, people talking about all her videos and guessing what she's thinking, you know, does it have, is, is it, you know, does every story have something to do with me? Does it have something, you know, I don't mean me in particular, I mean like TMZ and people that post constant Britney Spears stories. You know, is it, is, it, is it about that? Is it about future boyfriends or dating? It's not about any of that, I, I realized this morning. And then I realized every morning, let me tell you a little story. I'm gonna, it'll be quick. Every morning for, I'd say about the last two weeks, I go for a walk about 6 a.m., 5.30, 6 a.m. It's just starting to get light out. There's nobody on the streets of the city yet, especially on the weekends. And I start walking up a, a main main street, and there's this part of there's the part of town I talk about where I get into a lot of where, where I've had a few close calls, let's just say. And there's a train track, uh, train trestle, and that's where uh, I think a, I don't know now because I've been clean and sober, but I think a lot of people go up there to drink and use and stuff like that. It's a question. One of the days I went underneath this train trestle. I was walking up underneath it, and I all of a sudden I realized there was a leg dangling off like the, the stones building up the wall that goes up to the train tracks. I realized there was a leg, a human leg, and I look over and somebody's curled up, passed out, sleeping right there. You know, and it freaked me out, man. So that's the kind of, you know, it's not a terrible area, but it's not one of the best areas of the city. And every morning for the last two weeks, I go by, there's a, a, a woman coming down the hill as I'm going up. You know, she's on her way to work or to school. She's probably young, in her early 20s, early mid-20s. Redhead, uh, probably about 5'6", slim build, about 120 pounds. And she's coming down. And uh, most mornings, a lot of mornings, like, I, I go over to the other side of the street. Or she'll go over to the other side of the street. And for the last two weeks, she won't make eye contact with me. Because I usually, I usually say good morning to everybody that I pass in the morning. Or at least nod, or at least give a, hey, you know, what's up, you know, the, the dude nod, or whatever, you know. And I stopped doing that after the first three days. You know, every time I went by this this woman, there's been a few times, like, I come around the corner, and we don't have time to switch sides of the street, you know, so we go right by, like, I think it was yesterday. We were both, I came around the corner, and she was coming under the train trestle, and I was coming under at the same time, so we had to walk right by each other. And she just ignores me, man, like, I don't exist. 
You know, she's never made eye contact. Not only that, but she's got a scowl on her face. You know, she, she's got like an angry look. And I'm thinking, gee, she must hate her job. Maybe she's in a fight with her boyfriend or her husband. And, you know, now I'm just another guy that, you know, you know. And I'm like, oh, I, this morning with the Britney Spears post, I'm like, oh, my God. I've been thinking like a thick-headed dude this whole time. It's Britney Spears, her, her, her post is about women empowerment, female empowerment. That's what it's about. I finally got it this morning. You know, a lot of times, you know, I take for granted that I'm 6'3". You know, that I'm, I, I assume that I can take care of myself. I have a feeling of confidence, but I, I don't think I realize what it must be like for a woman. Like this woman passing me in the morning. I mean, I outweigh her by an easy, easy 80 pounds, if not more. And, uh, you know, there's nobody else on the street. You know, this isn't about her being bitchy or, or being mad at her boyfriend. This is about her, her saying, F, F with me. I dare you. That's what it's about. It's about, you know, how she, I got to realize how, how, not just me, you know, but women protecting themselves. You know, I, I, I think I lost touch of, I think women must, I'm not trying to sound patronizing or condescending here, but you know, men are in, in general stronger and much taller. And, you know, I think we, we assume men take for granted that we can take care of ourselves. And I forget what it must be like to be a woman, you know, and you have to have a lot of, I imagine the women I dated are very strong women. My sister, my mom were very strong, are very strong women. They have this attitude. F with me, I dare you. And that, a lot of that was my sister growing up with me. She's like five one, but she, I would I wouldn't mess with her, uh, you know. And I, I thought about that that woman in the morning, you know. And it has nothing to do with me. It has to do with men and the world in general, and having confidence and empowering herself, you know, that she can take care of herself. That you know, don't you know? Well, she's saying exactly what Britney Spears is saying in this post. F with me, I dare you. You know, and it's not just because she had a fight. You know, I, I thought about what I was, how I was trying to picture, you know, this, this woman I was going by every morning. Oh, she must have gotten a fight with her boyfriend. And I was like, oh my God, you know, or she's just being bitchy or whatever, you know? And I was like, oh my God, I sound just like a typical thick headed dude. It's not about any of that. It's about her having confidence, you know, and, and I got to put myself, try to have some empathy about what it must be like to be a woman. You know, she under, she, I think we both understand that I am stronger than her, you know, and I could have stuff on my mind. She doesn't know, you know, and she has to, she has to have the confidence to, to protect herself in certain situations. There's going to be times when she goes by guys like me and not all guys like me are going to be good guys. They're going to have good things on their mind, and, you know, and that's what this is about. You know, I realized when I read Britney Spears, when I saw that, you know, she broke up, or she, she's getting divorced from her husband. Her husband's a big guy. And in general, she probably, you know, that was her, I don't want to say protect her. Like I said, I don't want to patronize or condescend. But now she's on her own. She's a single woman. And I remember when I broke up with, with Audrey for a while, you know, and she had, an, you know, she, she was very independent and confident. You know, I remember her showing me, you know, her, her muscles in the gym, you know, they were, female muscles. I hate to say that. I don't want to sound like a, you know, a typical stupid guy, but you know, and I got it this morning. I finally understood, you know, she, Britney Spears is on her own. She's single now again. And she's just saying that to the world in general, don't F with me you know, this, a single woman empowering herself. That's what this is about. I finally got it. You know, no matter how much, how enlightened or feminist I might think I am, I still think like a thick-headed guy sometimes. You know, it must be about me or it must be about her boyfriend. Or she just, you know, she hates her job or she's just, you know, it's that time. I, I hate to say this, but, you know, a lot of guys think this. It must be that time of month. No, no, man. It's about female. It's about empowerment. You know, I, I, you for, I forget. Guys forget what it, you know, the roles being, the, the, the sides being, the roles being reversed. You know, and being eight inches shorter or 100 pounds lighter. And what it must take to have the confidence to move about and function and succeed in this world. In this man's world. I'm not saying that, but a lot of 
a lot of a lot of the population look at it as a man's world that's what this is about i finally got it this morning all right you guys let me know what you think i'll be back later with another video you guys have a good saturday